two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Good Morning Cybertron. I am your host, Scott. I am up to devious, devious things. You wouldn't think that, you know, somebody in quarantine could cause this much trouble. You'd be mistaken. It's all been, all, it's all been my fault. Everything. <laughs> Everything. You're in quarantine? That was me. I did that. COVID-19? Right here, baby. It's all my fault. I'm taking the blame. I'm taking the blame, and I'll stop this all. Never. With me today, <laughs> it's Holson. Hello. Oh, how's things over there in Sweden, buddy? Uh, pretty good. We are kind of, sort of, going back to something that resembles almost normal, but not quite. Right on. Right on. Yeah. All the way from Tejas. It's Walter. <laughs> Brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. No, 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 no. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by NordVPN. Not the show. <laughs> just Walter. <laughs> <laughs> and all the way from California. Brought to you by Elon Musk. Did you really have to say that? It's Xavier. <clears throat> I, I got nothing. I'm defeated this week before I even started. <laughs> I can't believe Elon Musk tweeted free America. Yeah, he's South African. <laughs> What's he got to do with us? Yeah, seriously. Plus, you know, I, I was telling, I was telling, uh, I was telling my girlfriend about that time you met his wife. Did I? You told us a story where you met. I thought it was you that met Elon Musk's wife, the Asian girl. I met uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg's wife. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Fuck. I was a, <clears throat> a, I was working at a grocery store, and sure enough, because Facebook is in Palo Alto, in walks Zuckerberg, and I'm like, what a short fuck. <laughs> and then he said, excuse me, and I was like, oops, said that part out loud. <laughs> and then you hit on his Asian wife. Yeah, she, she's, actually, they were about to get married because they were looking for the little ice cream rabbit mochis for their wedding. And I was just like, yeah, let me let me show you that around. And I never let on that I knew who Zuckerberg was. But he was like, you're kind of mean, aren't you? And I'm like, fuck you. I mean, no. <laughs> Let's see. You, you mean to Mark Zuckerberg. You hit on his wife. That's some big dick energy right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's some real big dick energy. And you can get some of that big dick energy. A little bit of big dick energy has been put into... Building a massive Transformers collection. Ten rules on how to build a toy collection of epic proportions. I'm thinking about making rule number 11. Buy a fucking 3D printer. Well, then you could just spit it off into its own book. Printing a massive Transformers collection. Really? Honest to God, yeah. That's, uh... You have no idea. You have no fucking clue. I mean, I, uh, I've been privileged enough to peek behind the curtain before the show starts and get a gander at what you've been showing us you've been working on. Oh, my God. I love this stuff. I, I love this stuff. And now that I'm getting into design a little bit more and a little bit more and I'm getting better and better at it, I'm going to just I'm, I'm going to I'm going to fucking piss a lot more people off is what I'm going to do. It's like <laughs> it's oh, hilarious. Allow me to take what you've created and improve on it. <laughs> improve nothing. Straight up copy. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Your website doesn't have copyright uh, protection. <laughs> yeah, well. You shouldn't have showed for the public. Uh, <laughs> Are those scales on your face? <laughs> and if you'd like to help us in a very non-monetary way, may I suggest going over to the Junk Transformers Buy, Sell, and Trade. I love what we have created over at the Junk Transformers Buy, Sell, and Trade. We have, we have saved so many toys from the trash bin. I am really, really happy. Um... Wow, just it's just fantastic. Walter does an amazing job <clears throat> cleaning that place up. Walter, <laughs> thank you so much. You you roll that place with an iron cup. <laughs> I uh, I actually haven't had to do much lately. Uh, I think after the twentieth at beheading, people finally got the idea. Yeah, you aren't going to fuck. You aren't going to fuck around. It's this oh. is this is the shit that we do don't be selling package stuff on here 
And I like the fact, like, some guy threw up, like, a bunch of toys in package and a couple losing it. Well, th- some of them are losing it. I'll let it go this time. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, like, if you could type out, if you could type out on the, on the page, like, this motion where both fingers to the eyes and then a <laughs> slow turn to him. Yeah, that's what Walter would have done. But you can't type that out. What you can I'm do, sure though, is get a quote. movie poster in there. Like, what is that Ben Stiller, Robert De Niro movie? Like, Meet the Little Fockers, where they both do it on the poster? And Photoshop. Yeah. Walter can do it because he's the Photoshop guy. Photoshop his own head in there. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure I can just find a GIF somewhere. <laughs> next time. You'll and get yet, him next And yes, it is pronounced GIF with the hard G. Thank you for Fight grabbing me. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Because the, the G stands for graphic, so you, you go yeah. graphic, not graphic. Right. Yeah. Right. And honestly, I think that's one of the, the bullshits of the English language. The G should never sound like a J. Like giant should be spelled J-I-A-N-T. Giant. giant. Honestly, giant should be spelled G-Y-A-N-T. So and you, C should be struck from the English language. C is a bullshit letter. So you I, would tell- say K, I would actually say K is the more redundant one since C does more than K. No, no, no. I disagree. E. C's a fucking troublemaker. Because C either sounds like a K or an S, right? Like the fucking word science. What the fuck is the C even doing in science? <laughs> and it breaks its own rules. Put a C next to an H and it makes a cha sound, but not in school. Yeah, and, he, and if you're talking about the Greeks, it suddenly means 50. What? Mm-hmm. If you're, <clears throat> and here's the thing. If you need a K sound, use a K. If you need an S sound, use an S. The word that really pisses me off coccyx because in there it's fucking a k sound and an s sound yeah we, we i'm pretty sure it's been well established that the english language is actually like eight smaller languages stacked on top of each other in a trench coat trying to get into an r-rated movie fuck him <laughs> that's a wonderful way of, way of putting it oh my <laughs> god come on over to patreon <laughs> give us your money if you don't give us your money I will bite you on the torso and give you a disease. And cephalitis. Check, check out SirToys.com. Huge thanks to our longtime sponsor. They have got some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things up on Sir Toys. Um, just, just absolute fucking rainbow of plastic lately up there. Uh, they've got knockoff Warbatron onslaughts, make toys and streetwise. They got the Ultraman Air Force Changers. Uh, the LS-18 Movie Jazz is up there. The Letter can, uh, Animal Combiner JNGQ. Uh, <clears throat> the Animus Megazord knockoff. Uh, the Quirky Special Agent Team. Fuck, I love this. And just a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. Uh, if, if you decide that you want to purchase from Sir Toys, I wholeheartedly endorse them. They've always done me good. But if you do so, do us a favor over here. Click on the link in the show links below. SirToys.com slash question mark A equals 16. That's going to let Paul know that we sent you to him. You get what you want. You don't pay a penny more. We get what we want, a little something, something on the side. And Paul gets what you want, business. It's a win, win, win situation. And dear God, in these trying times, isn't it about time somebody fucking won? Hmm, Scott? Yes? Let me throw you a curveball. <clears throat> okay. On Sir Toys. Yes. Find me the biggest okay. knockoff transformer you can. And I'm talking like in the same scale as that Mega Optimus Prime was. 18 inches. Ooh, I think the largest one that was on there was perhaps the uh it was either the movie Grimlock, like the Titan class Grimlock. Let's see if I can find that. And you know what? I am, and I have that one. I do have that one, and he's he's a tall boy. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. Share screen. Select window or screen. Entire screen. Allow. <clears throat> and go ahead and say something. There we go. Good. And we are here. Let me see here. Oversized Grimlock. There we go. <laughs> I would say that's probably... <laughs> One of the biggest. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even fit in the uh, light box. No, it does not. 
He's a big fucker. Wow, that's grim Rodimus Prime. <laughs> like, I literally, and he has it here, I literally have my knockoff Optimus riding him. <laughs> that's a Voyager-class Optimus riding Grimlock. <laughs> and if you don't like it in red, you can get it in the normal colors. And this is this is the version I have, the normal collar version. You actually So own I would one? say it's either him. Yes, I do. Okay. I actually own this one. Do you want me to go get it quick? I do. Okay. Go ahead and talk about this bad boy. I'll be right back. <clears throat> boy, uh this That's is a bad. huge bitch. That is one. <laughs> Man, if this was female, that'd be holding true right now. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Wait, if this is the oversized, what do you think the Grimlock Jr. from Age of Extinction looks, or the uh, the Last Night looks like, oversized and knocked off? Ooh. Nice. That it's would be great. That, that's kind of an impressive visa to me. I mean, my God. This thing. Walter, are you stunned <laughs> in silence? I haven't heard you say a word yet. Oh, sorry. I'm watching something Holson posted on the Facebook group. Uh-huh. Ah, some weird uh, anime thing. I, I'm not, <laughs> I haven't seen. I saw it posted while we were talking, so I haven't uh, watched the whole thing through myself. So I'm not sure what uh, it is, but yeah. it's fun. <laughs> wow, I can't. Yeah. I I can't wait for Scott to reveal how big this is. Like if he was to walk you ready? away, I'm back. Okay, well wow, that didn't take long. Let's see this. Now it on here. Stopping the screen share. <clears throat> and allow the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey. Yeah. Damn. Oh, dear me. Mm -hmm. That's and a big Sheila. Scott, uh, <laughs> did you... Did you uh, purchase that from Sir Toys, or is that just the skeleton bones of a chicken raptor? No, this is purchased from Sir Toys, baby. And Ooh. there's fucking Voyager Optimus riding it. <laughs> you know, that's almost a one-to-one uh, -one scale with the Daniel Robot Baby from The Last Night. You think that looks more like a leader-class Optimus. You may be right. You may be right. I think that's whenever the leader class has started to get a little bit smaller. Yeah. Now, this is a knockoff Optimus, too. Okay. Yeah. Knock so this is a knockoff Optimus, but he's, he's, he's fairly decent sized. But yeah, this is, this is the Grimlock from Sir Toys. Oh, dear me. That is the actual size of a raptor from 65 million years ago. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, the raptors were a little bit bigger than that. They were like three feet tall. He is so bony. It looks like one of those cartoon chickens you stuff in your mouth in one go and then just pull the entire skeleton out of your mouth by the tail. I'm telling, I fucking love this. This is like one of the prides of my collection. And this is one of the reasons like people go, eh, knockoffs, bad, man, fuck you. Look what I have. Go yeah. ahead. You can throw... You can throw... Uh, Little tiny, little shit fits. Or, oh, it's IP theft. It's this, it's that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It, it's criminal. It's criminal in the United States. But guess what? In the People's Republic of China, glory be, uh, this is not illegal. I have purchased a completely legal toy because of China's relaxed copyright laws. Yeah, it's not North Korea. <laughs> Actual still, size of a North Korean. Yeah. And this is about as live as Kim Jong Un is right now. <laughs> <laughs> More like Kim Jong Undead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, see, when I saw that hashtag on Twitter, that's what I thought it said at first. Yeah, me too. We're like, what? <laughs> what? I was seeing a lot of stuff like online about his sister. It's like, oh, Kim Senpai, could you please kick me in balls? <laughs> <laughs> Well, but yes, that's it. That's how North Korea is going to conquer the fucking world with the power of anime waifus. Exactly. This, if you need a reason to shop at Sir Toys after this, I'm sorry, I can't fucking help you. 
Scott, I know you're a drum major, but could you give uh, Grimlock a few strokes there? Hit, hit, maybe hit the A, C, and D key. <laughs> My God, he man's here. Could be like a xylophone. Yes, this this is the kind of stuff that you can get on Sir Toys. If if you have if you have any inkling of like, oh, should I purchase from Sir Toys? I'm not even going to say yes or no. Here's your answer. Yeah, it's one thing to see the photos. It's another one. Scott's already purchased it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty impressive. I was going to ask you because I was going to loop back around to that old joke. Is like, find me a toy in puce like that knockoff Evangelion Optimus Prime. But uh, mm. this uh, this is good enough. Yeah. This one wins. <laughs> <laughs> this one wins completely. Oh, my God. Yeah, I do. I do love my Sir Toys, and as does everybody I know and respect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of some other cool stuff that's out there, Figure King number 266 has some scans. We have the Masterpiece RC, some Cyberverse, some Studio Series, some Earthrise, some War for Cybertron from Netflix. But let's, let's be real here. We're here for the uh, we're here for the the wondrous glory. Here is your new emperor of North Korea, Super Megatron. <laughs> he definitely has like the 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 shoulder pylons to prove he is glorious leader for life. Oh, absolutely! This I cannot wait to get this. I've already got a pre order in. <laughs> Me too. Same here, baby. Thank Same you, Scott. here. You're welcome, buddy. You are welcome. But yeah, this Super Megatron, every time I see it, I just keep going, damn. Because it's Super Megatron, it's Ultra Megatron, it's Dark Nova. <laughs> oh god, especially Dark Nova with those shoulders. Mm. On oh, that fucking face mask, man. That mother Amazing. fucking face mask. Yeah. Just bringing it down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've already got yeah. a screen up. Mm. But the zoom is... Mm. Oh, my God. Now, I don't, like, usually say that the economics of it is what makes it a good toy. But this thing, you, I guarantee it's going to go up in value so quick. Oh, yeah. Like, fucking oh. through the roof, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no two ways about it. This is... Well, let's look at, let's look at the math of this. <laughs> Limited run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check. Exclusive. Yep. Yeah. Double. A character that we never thought we'd see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, you get a check plus for that one, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Character we never thought we'd see. And a genuinely good looking toy on top of that. This is not a toy that I, I'm looking at going like, this thing's shit. No. This is a generally good looking toy. Yeah. it's It's got all the hallmarks of being like one later on down the line that's going to set you back into the triple digits, the high triple digits, if you want to purchase it again. Kind of like Greenlight Unicron before uh, he finally became mass-produced and available. Yeah. 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 Forget your stocks. Forget your bonds. Invest in Super Megatron, yeah, glorious is, leader of North Korea. This isn't even a triple <laughs> changer. This is a quad changer because, as we've seen photos show before, there's an upside-down submarine mode in here. <laughs> Well, you get the quad, too, because there's two robot modes. Yeah. I don't usually count, like, a, a face change or, like, a simple mass armor shift, but, like, actual genuine different mode, like tank to, to flight mode to robot mode. That's what I mm -hmm. consider uh, an individual well, there's, mode. Well, there's more transformation between the two robot modes than just that, because if you look at uh, Super Megatron's chest here, you've got these two little slits here and then this shit covering his nipples. And then in the Ultra Megatron, you've got a whole different chest set up here. Mm, chest. <laughs> Holson makes a good point, however. Mm -hmm. Just not enough to sway me to say that's a completely different robot. <clears throat> like, if you dunked him in water and he suddenly turned purple, that would do it. Like, yeah. if he was a color changer on top of it all. Like that, and you also unfold the wings from his back, too, between super and ultra modes. 
anybody fucking dunks my copy of this toy in the water and they're next and i will hold them under for a good 15 to 20 minutes <laughs> you've reviewed stuff on the toilet though how come we haven't seen you do a review in the bath my dick's huge <laughs> You, you know, uh, I'm I'm suddenly reminded of that Vangel that video that Vangelis did fucking years ago, where he took the Mastermind Creations Night Morpher Cyclops, the big Hearts of Steel Shockwave with the boat mode, and actually like put it in a fucking bucket of water to see if it would float. <laughs> oh. It did not. <laughs> Vangelis is like, whatever. That was a review copy. <laughs> No, I'll just send it to the next review. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even dry it off. Just poured the bucket right into a cardboard box and taped it shut. <laughs> Here you go, no, flex, reviewer below flex me. Tape. Flex tape over the bucket and send the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This masterpiece RC looks like my grandmother's titties. <laughs> yeah. She There's has a uh, she has a pistol holster. RCs. How do you say multiple RCs? Arsi. Ars. Arsipides. Go for, going for the Greek. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not. It, it, this does. This does like, not spark joy. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. Like, like, like I've already checked out from masterpiece because the prices got too high. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is not good. Yeah, you can tell they're yeah. trying to compete with Flamebird because they're like, check out her sexy pose, and she's official. And it's like, eh, no bikini mode. Yeah, yeah. she got that yeah. uh, Captain Marvel butt. It's not that impressive. <laughs> <laughs> they should like, have gone pretty bad Tom whenever... butt. Exactly. I was just gonna say it's pretty bad yeah. whenever Tom Holland has a nicer ass than Captain Marvel. So this isn't yeah. RC. This is R Brie. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, oh. it's R Brie. Uh, oh, Thank you very much. Ouch. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Somebody knows the chest plate on this looks stupid as hell because they made sure to not focus in on it. Turn it away. Don't even let people see it. Uh, I just think this is more of Japanese syndrome. It's just like, check out, you know, the the trunk on this one. We're not talking about the back of the car. <laughs> I uh, don't know. I'm more excited for Scrapper and Snapdragon up top, to be quite honest. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Walter, if you could, bring her thank you kindly. Yeah, Scrapper. Scrapper's on the way to me. Uh, Hasbro Pulse just mailed me my Scrapper and a Sentinel Prime and two Seacons. Mm. <laughs> and, and Snapdragon looks fucking good, too. Oh, yeah. Like, that is just the fucking perfect snapdragon oh my god i can't stop look i mean i know i'm supposed to be commenting but i can't stop looking at it it's really good yeah oh more monster bots more snap oh god come on horror cons horror cons well that's the thing is there was only the two yeah. I'm trying to say monster themed transformers and i'm just like i gotta have the bots you know, it'd be great if they kind of did more horror cons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Halloween but, theme be nice, like they did for... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, which one? like Ape Face and Snapdragon being a gorilla and a dinosaur, they're obviously meant to be kaijus, your King Kong and your Godzilla. Mm-hmm. And let's see, Ape Face is sort of a fighter jet, and Snapdragon's obviously an SR-71 Blackbird. So just do a couple more like kaiju slash different jet mashups. Like like give us like a three headed King Ghidorah looking motherfucker that turns into a into a stealth bomber. <laughs> Gigant <Yeah>. bomb. <laughs> or you know or, uh, or a giant no. spi- or a giant spider that turns into a fucking uh helicopter. Wait, that's air acted. We have that already. Yeah. You were yeah, saying holes. Give us a good air acted. A good air acted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, uh, give, uh, make a Mofra that turns into a, a self bomber. She she has she has had enough of your shit. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'd love a Mofra. You know, oh my god. Yeah. I'd fucking love a Gamera Transformer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Gamera. Oh my god! It could be uh, a friend of Cosmos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they fly the same way. <laughs> 
ancient, yeah. ancient cosmos is just Gamera, and this whole time Toby pictures is like, oh my yes, god, it's it a could turtle. be that. Uh, you can it, you can have cosmos like that uh, UFO from one of the Gamera movies. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! You know the one he beat into when he saved those two kids from yeah. the Asian, Asian cannibals from he, space. Oh, I do indeed. Why? <laughs> Why, it's almost as if I'm a kaiju fan. Hey, that's the... Uh, <laughs> that's not uh, a, a butter face. That's a butter knife face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are the uber rare uh, Trendmasters Gamera line. Scott, you know wow, you don't deserve those. Awesome. I know I don't. <laughs> Completely don't. I've got, uh, I've got a Jiger. And I've got a... Virus. Ooh. And what else do I have here? You better have Cyber Yeti on hand. Uh, Cyber Yeti is over, over yonder. But there's Zegra. Oh, Zegra. Come on, man. Zegra. How, how are you going to show... How are you going to show the cool-looking ones, but not the, the pinnacle of this is too fucking much, it becomes cool again? A cybernetic Yeti. <laughs> <coughs> I uh, and there's a Gauss around here someplace. Uh, there's a Trendmasters Gauss around here, but I'm not quite certain mm -hmm. where that is. Why they never made Barugon? I'm I'm not certain. Oh, is he? I think Barugon's a different company, isn't he? No, Barragon. Barragon with an A is uh, Toho. It is Toho because he pops up in Godzilla movies, right? But then you have here is the Bandai version. Here is Barugon. Which is, I think this is the first monster Gamera ever th ever fought, but this is... Was that the, the guy that shot, shot rainbows? Yes. Ah. Gay Pridosaurus. Taste the rainbow, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. He hatched, hatched were... from a giant opal egg or something. <laughs> right! Oh, my God. You and me are such good friends, Holson. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know all this all this kaiju talk it reminds me of a video i've seen floating around uh like actual like shooting sequences from uh i forget which movie it was but it was one of the ones that had Angerus in it and it's it's this little japanese woman in the Angerus suit stomping around ro like roaring on set before they adr the actual Angerus noises in and it sounds adorable because it's this little Japanese woman making rawr noises. <laughs> oh, Kimiko's like, sex getting tape. into character. <laughs> <laughs> I like this mirage. Yep. And right, that hound right. does not look very much different from the one I bought last year. Yeah, hound's a big skip for me. Decepticon Mirage definitely getting. Yeah, yeah um, he looks a nice boy. Jesus Christ, if anybody finds a hot link, let me know. Mm. He's not even featured but, on this page. Yeah, but double dealer? Oh, that's shit, it. son. Yeah. Shit, son. How is he he not got the G1 bird head. <laughs> What's that, Holson? He got the G1 bird head. He do. Yep. He do got that bird head. He also got the hidden Autobot emblem. Yep. Ooh. And mm. something I noticed from photos of double dealer that popped up, you can deploy the bird wings in robot mode. Nice. Uh, nice. The Archangel Double Dealer. <laughs> so, so he's already got a futuristic truck mode. He's got wings that can be unfolded in robot mode. I'm thinking we might get a Nova Prime out of this. Shit. Mm. Mm, I would not be opposed to that. Would they call him Nova Prime or would they go Prime Nova with him with the E on the end? Like they did for they, the club store. It, it, if their uh, club store didn't do that, they just called it Nova Prime. Pretty sure it was Prime Nova. No, that was the. But color. yeah, yeah. But yeah, like unfolding the wings like that in robot mode, giving them the future truck mode, maybe a different weapon instead of the missile. I, I could definitely see this getting heavily retooled into a really good Nova Prime. Uh, honestly, I'd prefer a Death Saurus. I well, really yeah. would. And that, he's got the hollow space mm -hmm. in the chest for you to put a matrix in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is true. We just... This is true. We just need to make sure that whoever 
is in charge of redressing up this mold has the same knowledge of like obscure characters because there's going to be someone going ah you you know what this looks like this looks like a bumblebee they i'll tell you what hasbro has been hitting it out of the park as far as obscure characters go lately yeah (laughs) i've been pleased Mm -hmm. i have been pleased I mean, oh, it'd, be, it'd be nice if we got more of them instead of constantly repeating the 84 and 85 cast. Yeah. Impactor was pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Impactor hey, Scott. was good. Scott. Yes. Scott, we have some uh, breaking news, I think, posted from like uh, half an hour ago. Is it about the animated prequel? Yes. I, always... I saw that and I had it up there. Oh, great. Yeah, so let's talk okay. animated prequel. We might as well do this right now. Um, yeah. Toy Story 4's Josh Cooley is directing an animated prequel film to the Transformers film. Uh, it is... and it, <laughs> There's some names here. Uh, Andrew Barrer and Gabriel Ferrari, the guys who wrote uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, they're writing the script to this. And it's going to focus on the relationship between Optimus and Megatron. And it takes place entirely on cybertron thank fucking god (laughs) (laughs) is uh is this is this set up for a theatrical release or is this maybe we think in straight to dvd netflix this if it's animated it's probably going straight to netflix i don't know i don't know it's a weird world we're living in because a lot of stuff that was supposed to be released in theaters yeah. Is now being released direct to on demand. Oh yeah. Did you hear about AMC flipping their shit at Universal Pictures? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <clears throat> to be fair, we knew I... this was coming for a long fucking time. To be fair. To be fair. Yeah. Whenever Josh and I went to see uh the Bumblebee movie, he and I were the only people in the theater. <laughs> oh really? Wow. Yeah. Every yeah. Awesome like that. I had packed theaters for six weeks, sold out for the Bumblebee movie. And I was like, this is a spin-off movie to the little yellow bastard. Why is he bringing in the bank? To be fair, once again, yeah. uh, um, Josh and I did go on the very last showing of the last night. Mm-hmm. Not the last night of the showing, not last K-N-I-G-H-T. Uh, I, <laughs> that I do believe after a rewriting of the English language, sir, you mean C-N-I-G-H-T. There we go. Thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's cool. It's a little premature because we don't know what they'll do with it yet. I guess distribution will depend on how confident they feel in the product because, after all, a whole lot of schlock that doesn't meet studio standards goes right to Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyone, it's, uh, anyone ever hear of Doom first... Annihilation? No. Good reason why. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought it was uh, from the animated series, so I was very confused. Oh, yes, please. I Season four of animated would be nice. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Prequel showing just Omega Supreme utterly stomping Decepticon ass. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really like the idea that Omega Supreme was his own bot, a giant yeah. massive oversized bot, and that they hinted at, yeah, a giant massive oversized bot's nothing too outlandish on Cybertron so massive oversized bots like him have giant protoforms and I was like please show the giant protoforms please show them and they never did because we never got season 4 giant babies a gigantic a gigantic robo baby Yoda (laughs) season 2 of the Mandalorian is just like and here's mama Yoda Oh my god, Mama Yoda has atomic breath. I'd be strangely okay with it. <laughs> Nests made of kyber crystals. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Strangely okay. So I'm looking forward to, to more news about this. I remain cautiously optimistic. Uh yeah. All in good time. All in good time. Mm-hmm. We do have images now of the Cybertronian Villains Decepticon Clones 2-pack. Cool. I'm yep. happy. It, it, it's a pounce and wingspan. Yeah. 
Steal the I I have the Walgreens and box set versions already, so I'm probably skipping this. I only yeah. have one half because of Walgreens being the only available outlet. Hmm. Yeah, this is. I'm I'm thankful that they re-released these. I I have the box set and the uh, and the Takara version. Believe yeah. it or not, I don't have the uh, I don't have the uh, the U.S. Walgreens set. I have the Takara version. Uh, they match up pretty good. My colorblind ass can't tell a difference. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm super happy that we're getting these again. Uh, just because. Even though this is nothing that I would spend money on for myself, shit, so many people missed out on these. Yeah, yeah. That I'm happy. I, I'm not one of those those assholes. You know, well, you, if you are, if you were a real fan, you would have gone for the first time. Man, I, my dick is small. No, look, I'm I'm very happy. Release all the toys over again, please. Yeah, I'm I'm really waiting for Haslab to go. You know what? Sell it in stores. Go on. Take everything we've made for online and put it in them shelves. You know what? If they would put out a, a, a Titan class Unicron and sell it in stores, I'd be completely fine with it. I'm, I'm imagining it sell pretty well just because of like I've seen collectors when the Star Wars stuff drops on May the 4th be with you and people just load up their carts with Star Wars stuff and hit the doors, right? Mm. I I know, or at least they, or at least they used to. They used to. Yeah. I know for a fact. Yeah. If you said, "Hey, guess what? Haslab Unicron is hitting the streets," oh, every every nerd within thirty miles of a Walmart and Target would line up. You'd have you'd have to hand out numbers to get them <laughs> to stay in line. Yeah, pitchfork, pitchforks and blowtorches. <laughs> right. Here, stick the number on the end of my pitchfork. <laughs> and Imagine here's the thing. I, Oh, go ahead, Holson. I just had a, a random stupid thought. What if Hasbro would uh, give give away uh, uh, Toxitrons to everyone, every Transformers collector who survived COVID? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I actually, I actually got a uh, thing in my uh, mail today. It was it was from Hasbro Pulse. And they asked me to take a survey, and there was a couple of interesting questions on the survey. They asked me what I thought of being like an exclusive member. Do you think the fifty dollars is worth it? And then there was one question on there that kind of, kind of piqued my interest, where it was, "How much do you think you should spend to get a free Hasbro Pulse membership?" Ooh, good hmm. question. And it was like a write it write it out answer, and I kind of put down. Two hundred dollars. If you spend over two hundred dollars a year on Hasbro Pulse, I think you deserve a free membership. Mm, Scott, I'd say I would say one hundred. Not a bad idea. However, back to Holson. Because I got I got to say this before I forget it. Uh, Holson, great idea for the Toxitron. However, box set two pack <laughs> idea. Toxitron mm -hmm. flat down on his face, and Ratchet standing on his back, f firing a blaster into the air. <laughs> I like that. I like that, Walter. You were saying, I, I would say maybe one hundred instead of two hundred, because Hasbro Pulse almost never gets anything in first. Hmm. Yeah. I'd say for free membership. What are they asking regularly for it? Fifty dollars a year. Mm. A year. So it's Costco membership. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just fifty then. Yeah, I figured it was fifty four times. Four times the membership, I think it would be good. And I love the free shipping. I love free shipping because of that. <clears throat> Shit, Xavier, you like the free shipping because of that. Yeah. Yeah, I do, baby. And it's just like every now and then when I go, Oh, I really want that, Scott. I want also more. they also they really need to work on their international shipping, especially the Canada. Yeah. There was nothing there. There was nothing there as far as like, you know, uh, I would have said something about, hey, if it's your products, you need to get on top of it. Because I was going to mention something about the Rumble and Rap Bat not being available. Mm -hmm. You know, I was going to mention something about that. But yeah. no, it's uh, there was nothing about that. Um, but yeah, I've been happy with Hasbro Pulse. I really have been. Well, Hasbro Pulse is good as long as you maintain on top of the products they offer. 
but yeah. it's that whole thing was like Toys R Us is supposed to have pop up stores again, right? Because they don't want the name to die. They're just like, oh, we're gonna do pop up toy boxes every now and then. Jeff Free's toy box. And mm-hmm. I would love if Hasbro did that. And it's just like, you know what? Maybe just online outlets aren't enough. We could do a pop up store. And I wouldn't care if it's three hundred miles away. If you're saying there's a place where I can get it from you and I can like feasibly get there in a good amount of time, I'll do it just to make sure I physically get my hands on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because now that you know, you know, KB's been dead for about a decade. Toys R Us for like four years now. Hasbro Toy Shop, if they, you know, the the market's fucking open. Like there is no dedicated toy retailer anymore at brick and mortar. Mm. Yeah, like, you're pretty much limited to Walmart and Target at this point. Yeah, yeah. Walmart, yeah. Target, and I would say. I'm not counting McDonald's because I get it. McDonald's is the largest toy company in the world. I get that. Because of but I would say, animals, yeah, exactly. But I would say, honest to God, probably your best chances of finding Transformers are in this order. Walmart, tying closely with Target, and then your third one, the fucking Goodwill store. Mm. <laughs> Walgreens. If you have a yep. good Walgreens. <clears throat> yeah. Shit! At this point, there have been at the, there have been times that I found more Transformers at the Goodwill store than a Walgreens. At this point, it started like if you really think about it, comic book shops are pretty much the only place. And like, ah, oh, actually, wait, hold on, let me rethink that a minute. Okay, my original thought was comic book shops are pretty much the only dedicated toy stores now. But then a thought occurred to me: GameStop and ThinkGeek. <clears throat> GameStop's going down. I don't think there'll be a GameStop yeah. in a year. Uh, they're kind of going under. I'll admit that. But ThinkGeek itself is still profitable. Yeah, yeah I think GameStop start like, trying to get into the collectible stuff. Like even here in Sweden, they've been starting selling more and more. Yeah, but I think it was too little, too late. I mean, they... I mean, you walk oh, in and there's I a wall of, of funk. Funko Pops, like, yeah, <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, all Holson has to do is go to his local grocery store and go, oh, look, all of Wave 3 from, like, War for Cybertron finally arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Walk into a hardware store and buy uh, Nitro Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking weird. Was it I actually a hardware store? A wall. Yeah, hold- so I could get uh, a power drill... Uh, a fucking blowtorch and bumblebee. <laughs> what the fuck? So, I gotta show you guys something. I gotta show you guys something. I'm going to show you the weirdest place I ever got a a, a Transformers toy. Bear with me here right. for a second. Backpage.com. Yeah, yeah, Backpage. $150? Uh, 150 roses for Fort Max. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Roses. Uh, uh, that's not my joke. I stole that from Rob Springer, but hey. Um, I'm giving credit where credit's due, where, yeah, somebody could learn a thing or two from that. I'm anyway, trying. Uh, so I'm going to go to maps.google.com. Because here's the thing. You need to see this. I'm going to show you guys where I used to live. So we're going to go to 15558 which is the zip code for Salisbury, Pennsylvania. And I want you guys to see. I'm going to show you exactly where I used to live. Um, Let's go to the satellite photos so you can get like a real, real kind of look at this here. So moving in, moving in, moving in. Confirmed. Fire. Fire. Enhance. (laughs) Enhance. Engage rods from God. (laughs) <laughs> Scott has no qualms now that his old place is under worse management. Enemy, <laughs> enemy control is what my old place is under. <laughs> enemy control. Um, Just drop a 20-kilo tungsten rod. Exactly. No, drop a see, fulcrum. <laughs> do you guys see all this forest right here? Mm-hmm. You planted that, right? Yeah. This was my house. There it is. Oh. That was my house. 
Quick, uh, yes. quick side note. Where where did you see the uh, Bigfoot footprint? Uh, right there. Right, there. right this little uh, this little spot. I'm gonna put it dead center of the map. See this right here? The pond. Uh -huh. It doesn't look like it, but that's a pond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, this is the. Hold on. Oh, go back to mm -hmm. the pond. This is this is the funny thing for you collectors out where Scott used to live. If you are a fan of like digging up buried treasure, just like ET cartridges are worth a lot now after they got dug out of the Alamogoro Desert. Uh, this There's is a where you, in there. It, this is where if you dig deep enough, you'll find those old, horrible, dead-eyed little human figures that came with the Human yeah. Alliance toys from a couple of years ago. There and there! <laughs> <laughs> so right here is like a storage shed that I have. Here's another storage shed. This looks like where I used to have my pool. It doesn't look like it was taken care of because the pool seems to be gone now and just a, uh, just a fucking patch of sand there. But this was my house, right? Now, mm -hmm. I saw the Bigfoot right in there. What I had done was I had driven... I'm going to... This is a road right here. I had driven, and instead of taking the road, I drove up through here, and I'm in my car right here, and I look over, and I see the Bigfoot right there in the pool. So, and then I park in front of the house and listen to my heartbeat for, for about uh, 45 minutes until I got the courage to walk from right here into my house. Heartbeat by Don Johnson. Listen, listen by Don to Johnson. my heartbeat. So, just to give you an idea, that was my garden over there. Right there's my garden by the pool. I walked out of, the, out of my house one day up to this road. I took this road here. Walk up Compton's Mill Road. Here I am, walking, walking, walking. I used to walk quite a bit. And let me zoom out here so I can kind of see where it goes. So walk up Compton's Mill Road. And I go back down around. Let's see. Nope, I think I missed it. Where is it? Compton's Mill, Compton's Mill, Compton's Mill Road. Up. There it is, Sawmill Road, and then down. No, I was at the right spot. My apologies. Everything looks the same from this height. Do you see that building right there? Oh, the I know which one this is you're talking about. No, wait, hold on. Maybe it's not this building. I'm sorry. Doot, doot, going down, going down, going down, going down. Jesus, this doesn't seem as long whenever it's... No, I guess it is that building. Never mind. That building is what's called a Benton Net, yep. where they sell, like, like the Amish will buy, like, a truckload of groceries, and they'll sell it inside this Benton Net, so, like, dented cans, torn boxes, stuff like that. I found a tomahawk in there once. Oh. <laughs> like, Hunt for the Decepticons tomahawk in the middle of the fucking woods for sale. That it's amazing. And, mm -hmm. and the truly strange part about that is the uh, the Amish Benton Dent, oh. all the Amish bought their groceries and all their my stock apologies. with cryptocurrency. Yeah, my apologies. Here's the Benton Dent. It even says Yoder's Benton Dent. It's been a few years. My apologies. But yeah, I did buy a, uh, I did buy a tomahawk from there in the middle of the fucking woods. How do you... How do you... <laughs> Order a satellite strike through Google Maps. I don't know, but I, on the off chance that I ever get my house back, I don't want to destroy it. <laughs> God, this is the lamest video game ever. I know. This sucks. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. DNA Design DK16 Gear Master for Studio Series Bumblebee, Sentinel Prime, and Blackout. Uh, Sentinel Prime gets his uh, sword, his shield, his rust guns. Uh, Blackout gets some articulated hands, some machine guns, a blade. Bumblebee gets some cans and some some whatnots. Uh, you know what? Uh, I, he also gets a missile rack. Yeah, I think so. I think the only thing I would want out of this is the rust gun, honestly. Yeah, because the, the Sentinel that we're getting in Studio Series already comes with a sword. Yeah. Well, if you It's have kind a of a shitty looking sword. Have you looked at it? Uh, not recently, I'll admit. It's it's the old yeah. uh, Leonard Nimoy Hurlant sword that 
is actually able to break into two pieces this time. And I remember the Sentinel Prime I, I got off the old version of the buy, sell, and trade from years ago when it didn't exist and it was ran under a different name. Mm. Included this. And I thought it was a third-party accessory, but to my surprise, it was an actual accessory, and it was a flip-out sword. Yeah. I'm. It's cool, but mm-hmm. it's been done before, and if you have to get this kit, you know, you don't need to really get any of these accessories because a lot of these things, as dressings for the characters, aren't really going to be... I guess extending the play value. Sentinel doesn't need it. The Voyager in Leader Class from Eleven, or uh, sorry, Dark of the Moon had it already, except the rest gun. Bumblebee has all manner of weaponry already. Just pick your version. And then I think Studio Series Blackout already came with some neat stuff. So, you know, his spinning, his spinning blade is okay, but I just don't. Ugh. No. I just I yeah, just have I, no love I, I for I can't this. find it either. I because as accurate as that as that is the the sword, that shield is completely inaccurate. Yeah. I mean, one of the big things that I remember from the shield was the big Cybertronian glyph that was on the front. Where's yeah. that now? The version of Sentinel I had even had a flip-out blaster built into his shield. Yeah. Yeah, like, at this point, I may as well just take the the weapons from my 2011 leader class toy. Yeah, that was a good toy, damn. It was. really like that one. I like the Voyager better. Mm. I only ever got the one from uh, the leader class version because as... As a little bit of a fanboying this, uh, that version I have of Sentinel Prime was Thu's. Oh. Yeah, he was getting rid of it. And I was like, see. oh, shit, Thu's selling this? It's mine. Yeah, I can see why you'd like that. Yeah. I get that completely. He even still has the beard hair. <laughs> oh. Licking it, trying to find just a couple more scraps of DNA. I mean, the cloning process is extremely slow. It's been 10 years, and every time I have to restart, it costs a little bit more of a strand of hair. (laughs) You messaging through, I found a little piece of dandruff and ate it. You're in me now. (laughs) Lawsuit pending, I I think I'll be allowed into the UK at some point. (laughs) Oh, my God. You know what they could have... um added to um, it wouldn't be completely accurate for blackout but that uh, um, a grinder he had like a, a claw or a magnet or something he, he lifted up the car with Sam and the other guys in Did I remember that? that I don't remember, yeah, that. I remember that why not have that as an accessory I'm Even honestly surprised it... we haven't gotten a grinder out of blackout yet yeah. Uh, I I kind of understand why because the leader the leader and Voyager class have been really crowded lately, especially with all these Constructicons. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I think once Hasbro's done with Devastator, they'll probably do Blackout or not Blackout, uh, Grinder. Grindor. What was the difference? Was it just a little bit of color difference? Yeah. Uh, the grinder was paler. Yeah. Like, Blackout was your nice, uh, big, buff tank character. Not literally the tank, but your yeah. classic like RPG yeah, yeah. tank in your first movie. And then they were like, just recycle the fucking model. Hurry up. Yeah. For Revenge of the Fall. It's a shame they didn't do like a, a crazy repaint, like a cyber fire <laughs> blackout oh, instead. Dude, if like, they eat, like if they even put a little bit of effort in it, and if Grinder wasn't just known as the guy where Optimus was, like, give me your face with the hooks. Yeah. Like if that was beyond anything different, it's like, hey, let's put a little bit of you know tiger stripes on him or something. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe a sexy bomber girl down like the length of the tail or something. But no, he's just known as the the bot at Optimus. The guy who got his face his hooks in combat and apart. Yeah, Cabal wins. <laughs> I'm Optimus yeah. Prime. Fuck you, dude. Cabal has the hooks. 
Like, that's how they could set apart a grinder repaint from Blackout. Like, replace Scorponok with the magnet thing you were talking about earlier. Oh, and yeah, then, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then for a new head sculpt, give them a head that can be split in half. DNA Designs presents <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> or give him like a, a, a loose head in two parts that you can attach to your Battle Hooks Optimus Prime. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> if why is it every fucking movie and I think it has to be Bay saying this but every movie where Optimus goes to the dirt with another Decepticon he hits them so hard their eyes either bug out of their head or their head completely explodes poor Shockwave only had the one yeah, yeah. and he still fucking lost an eye yeah he th poop, and it was uh, attached to a wire yeah, that was a nice touch, I thought. <clears throat> just that highway <laughs> battle scene in Optimus just, like, punch. Who did he punch so hard in the first one? Bone Crusher, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bone Crusher's eyes bugged out of his head. You remember that? Yeah. I was like, well, that's, that's cute. still my uh, my favorite fight <laughs> of all uh, live-action movies. That's Bone Crusher Optimus fight. I <laughs> love that. The Bone Crusher Optimus fight was pretty good. I liked, I liked in Dark of the Moon... Whenever Optimus like swooped down from the heavens on his jet wing and fucking did like the three quarters of a mile death slide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Say what you will about Bay. Storyline sucked. But whenever he like sat there and there and went, Yeah, death slide. That's what we'll do. That actually That's was as a little bit worked. of Good Morning Cybertron history, you remember when we were experimenting with doing live shows and Max Ross Linden, shout out to our boy, made mm -hmm. a opening countdown sequence for us using that sequence? Yeah. Oh, my God. I want to optimize and flume. Yeah. Like three quarters of a mile, eight Decepticons dead. It's true. <laughs> it's it's one of the better action sequences, and it was so good. Even when you saw it in the trailer, I was like, I want to see that on the big screen. And, then, and it, it, got, it delivered! It did. It really did. And then the, the surprise of it all was Revenge of the Fallen, Give Me Your Face, which is unfortunately now canon with Optimus. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that Dark of the Mood mile-long death slide, like, that is the live-action movie's equivalent to the 1986 movie scene optimus prime arriving at the battle of autobot city the touch playing and he just starts running down decepticons oh yeah mm -hmm. did you see stan bush in the audience of the that fight just strumming his guitar while that shit was going on dare dare to believe it's <laughs> and he in between takes like you have the future in your arms. are you sure it's okay to stand out here with all this prime accord <laughs> I just picture like Michael Bay in the front going, Stan, shut up! And Tyrese Gibson from the first movie is like, Don't trust Bay! Too late, detonator. No. <laughs> oh my god. You talking about canon, Xavier, reminded me. I'm a big fan of this one YouTuber called Meat Canyon. <laughs> um, Meat Canyon does some great animations. And he did one where it was Bugs Bunny versus Elmer Fudd. But instead, like, Bugs Bunny was this creepy rapist who was going <laughs> to rape Elmer Fudd, and then Bugs Bunny's father came out and stopped him. And he goes, but he took our mother. And it's like, let him go. Let him go. And then a couple of weeks later, me, can you put up a funeral for that video? And it turned out Warner Brothers copyright struck it and took down the video. Was there animation in this? Oh, yeah. This is all completely animated. So it's okay. all the Meat Canyon characters. Like, uh, like surrounding like the casket that supposedly has the video Wabbit season in it, right? <laughs> and like they're like going, "He's taking too soon." Oh my god! And it's like, like, oh my god! If he goes, any one of us could be next. And then one of the other characters goes, "What I don't understand is, Warner Brothers claimed this is their property." So now, one of the most beloved cartoon characters in history, Bugs Bunny, it's now canon that secretly he was an aging rapist dealing with mo emotional issues. Why would they want to do that? <laughs> Just as long as it made it to the Looney Tunes wiki. That's all that matters. Oh, my God. Fucking love Meat Canyon. 
<laughs> Meat Canyon is great. If you're if you're new to Meat Canyon, I suggest watching Ace of Spades. It is one of the best westerns you will ever see. Noted. <laughs> will do. Noted. Ace of Spades. We have images of Devil Savior Long Haul, also known as Smash, because he's green and bulky, so he looks like the Hulk. Oh. oh. Yeah. I thought it was because of what he did to Nuts. Smash. <laughs> um, you know what? This looks pretty good. Not bad. But once again, it's not $150 good. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my studio series long haul yeah mm -hmm. yeah me too me too yeah i mean i can only uh, agree i mean it, i think it looks amazing i love the missiles i love the painted um, brakes springs or whatever they are called dampeners yeah uh, the articulation yeah, is fantastic yeah even what? the foot looks like a foot so that's good <laughs> That that, yeah, that definitely yeah. helps when you're supposed to be a foot. Is this like, um, is this a claw? Are you walking on a claw? I'm a foot. <laughs> yeah, that... it looks. I mean, this looks amazing, but it's uh, third party uh, combiners. It's a little bit out of my uh, <laughs> yeah. spending. Now the thing that so... I'm, I'm looking at here is Walter flash by it real quick, but I know it's supposed to be just non copyrighted. But they put up the cat design logo, yeah, on that, and they're not afraid of cat going after them. I guess not. I don't know. That kind of looks like a G. They so might say gat. Yeah. I think you mean a cat. And honestly, it looks, it looks kind of uh, painted on. Yeah. From one one image, it kind of looks like it says gay. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at uh, image seven. Hey, whatever Long Haul chooses for himself. Yeah. And yes, I understand. It's not a choice. He Long Haul was born that way. Yeah. I'm just happy that he's got some pride. His best friend with Grindor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he goes to Grindor to get hookups. Mm hmm. Get it? Because Grindor and Grindor. Shut up. Yeah. Uh, got it. Hook up. Hooks. Hook. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, yeah, this looks great, but it's just not it's just not hundred and fifty dollars great. Yeah. You know what? I will give it to you. I'll be numbers. honest, if if this was seventy five bucks, I might be all over this. Yeah. Hercules prices. Yeah. I still need to get the 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 Perseus version of that set. The the shattered glass colors. Hercules, Hercules is still good, but honestly, now that you kind of look at it, it's getting a little dated. I don't yeah. ever feel that way about Hercules. Is just because it's like maybe because it was like one of my first ever third party gestalts, but I was like, mm -hmm. God, I love him. I love him like my G one Hercules, which is what we call Devastator. Oh, he's a he's a he's a big old boy. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Hercules, especially if you got the Rage of Hercules set, he's he looks fucking amazing. Oh, you mean where it's just like, hey, your pectoral muscles aren't big enough. Let's get those shoulders out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, for me, one of the things that makes that makes a Devastator a Devastator is is tread shoulders. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm sorry if it doesn't have tread shoulders, he looks a little weak. I, I like the tread shoulders on Devastator. Uh, honestly, like if I had to get rid of every Devastator I own and keep just one, Mr. I Hard would say Hat. the, uh, well, no, Mr. Hardhat's not a Devastator. He's his own thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I would say like my, my third party Devastators, I'd keep the NBK Devastator. Uh, it has to have ear guns. Yeah. Yeah. An ear gun really makes a difference for me. God damn it. They were like, hey, did you know Devastator can shoot from the ear? And I was like, I gotta see this. And Devastator just goes, what? <laughs> I can't hear you. And I like, have a gun in my ear. It's like that old <laughs> It's like that old cartoon, like old 1930s cartoons where you see the guys that, that hold up like the, the, the tin horn. horn. Yeah. So this is like, I can't hear you. Well, this time not, I can hear you and I can shoot you. 
I hate the movie, but I love this one scene in Wild Wild West where the guy has a gramophone ear implanted into him and he just twists it down and all the pus comes running out and he twists it back up. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. Is it worth watching? Even no! If... No! <laughs> no! If you're watching it drunk with people to make fun of with it, it's good. You have okay. to be pretty goddamn drunk. I would say drunk enough that you don't remember watching the movie. I don't know. I mean, there's a certain inherent <clears throat> value to the movie just for the fact there's steampunk mech. Yeah. Oh, I think there's a certain inherent value to the movie. It's that, look, Will Smith can make a mistake. He's human like the rest of us. The that, fact that he that passed up. mistake the, is Jaden Smith. Yeah, he passed up being Neo from The Matrix for that bullshit. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> Also, also semi-related, Sean Connery passed up the role of Morpheus in The Matrix and the role of Gandalf in Lord of the Rings. Twice. That was yeah. probably for the better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, he, and he passed those up to play Alan Quartermain in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That and, certainly was a movie. And then, and then, what did he do? He got into a fight with Stephen Norrington and swore off acting until he's like, uh, no, I got one more movie in me. And then what did he and do? The, Some oh, sort of CG chicken run movie. Oh, God, that piece of shit movie. And then it's oh, like, God. Hey, It'll never get better. I know Sean Connery was Bond and all that bullshit and is great, but it'll never get better for me than Finding Forrester whenever Sean Connery unapologetically and unironically shouts out, you're the man now, dog! <laughs> you are aiming too low. What about Highlander 2? Oh, oh my oh. god. First rule of Fight Club, we do not talk about Highlander 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, spread the word. Tell everybody out here we're kicking each other in the nuts, but we do not talk about, about Highlander, Highlander 2. 2. <laughs> where, where the Spaniard in a Scottish accent, repeats a, a Shakespearean actor going, shithead? What's a shithead? I see. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, God. I did like uh, Highlander Free. That's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to make a James Bond film. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want to make a James Bond film. And I just have the most fucking perfect idea for a Bond film. Mm. You have a couple of 00 agents. 007 is one of them. And they're standing in front of M. And they're being debriefed, right? Boxers off. So there's, you. There's, about, there's about five or six 00 agents. And all of a sudden, like the underground complex is fucking rocked with, with explosions. And you see like James Bond running with a few more 00 agents, right? And finally, they escape. They escape out uh, a pipe. They're in the River Thames. They come up onto the, onto the beach, and immediately, they pull guns on each other. There's three surviving double-O agents. They pull guns on each other because they know this was an inside job, and only an inside man would know how to get out. So they know it's one of the three guys, right? Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, machine gun fire, they're all mowed down. Of course, 007, James Bond survives, but only barely, right? The other two are fucking dead. The camera pans over, and it's fucking Pierce Brosnan and Timothy Dalton gunning them down. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out, like, a bunch of the old 00 agents who were James Bond before them, James Bond is just a code name. Yeah. And so these 00 agents that were James Bond before them have formed this cabal. And now they're the criminals. So is All it right. is it is it over who's the daddy of James Bond Jr.? <laughs> uh, no, I was gonna have it be like like the the ultimate criminal at the end. You have this mysterious figure, and it turns out to be Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kill the past, Highlander. Kill the past. Oh, oh God, there has to be a scene where they where they approach, you know. A swivel chair face with its back to them mm -hmm. and then the chair swivels around and it's sean connery petting a cat mm -hmm. and i was actually <laughs> gonna have it i was gonna have the person that rescues 
that rescues the Daniel Craig James Bond be fucking George Lazenby. <laughs> From his <laughs> one appearance in the James Bond franchise. That's right. I was going to have it be fucking George Lazenby. And then and then he, he starts to tell. And the two guys that are dead that played James Bond. Barry, I think the one guy's name was... Uh, oh, fuck. Who was the first guy to play James Bond? Sean Connery. Connery? He was an American actor. Oh, first American James Bond? Uh, shit. Hold on here. Let me look this up. Uh, first actor... Well, while Scott's looking Dude. that up, fun fact about George Lazenby's James Bond, much like the Connery man, uh, Lazenby dropped out of playing James Bond for a role he thought better, which was called Universal Soldier, which oh, was yeah. such a piece of shit movie, Lazenby never acted again. Like, like the idea of Sean Connery doing the classic Dr. No move, swiveling the chair around, petting a cat, We've been expecting you, Mr. Bond. <laughs> and I was going to have it be a thing like George Lazenby rescues the Daniel Craig James Bond. Barry Nelson was the guy who played James Bond. He was an American actor that played James Bond in 54 in the TV, um, TV movie Casino Royale. Mm -hmm. And Roger Moore, those were the three guys. Roger Moore, Barry Nelson, and... <laughs> And fucking George Lazenby were the only ones who didn't uh, who didn't take up Sean Connery's offer of going to the cabal, and Connery tried to kill all of them. But Lazenby, I'm telling you, I'd like it. Yeah. I think you should make that a, a Cal Exit script. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just some name swaps, and all you see is just like the the clips of. Some guy who's really, really old, and he's just like, time to die, Mr. Bond. No, you bunch die, of, Mr. Bond. Just a bunch of people like watching TV going, who the fuck is Bames John? I don't understand. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. You got to die, and they, Bond. And they, and they all pull golden guns on each other. <laughs> exactly. Except the one <laughs> ultra rare go. version that has a diamond gun. <laughs> oh, fuck. Moving on to Looky What I Found. Wholesome Buddy, do you have a Looky What I Found? Uh, Yeah, I got kind of a, a Looky What I Found. Uh, some kind of anime with mix and cassettes or something. So I share that. In and a half-naked girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just uh, oh, bring up the uh, Good I, Morning uh, Simon on Facebook page. Did I forget about that? <laughs> Let's take a look here. Uh, bringing it up uh, right now. Let's see here. And let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see. Officially confirmed animated movie. Oh, yeah. There's uh, Animu and Mango Noises. <laughs> well, I can't, <laughs> okay. unfortunately, show it on my end because I'm doing the recording, but uh, yeah. I'll look at it later. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, you will. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to play that just in case. Yeah. Xavier, buddy, do you have a looky what I found? Well, wholesome covered sex, <laughs> so I think I'll do drugs. Okay. Optimus Prime LSD tablets, Autobot and Decepticon emblems. Some dude, and I can't get around this because they, they have a... I have ad block on my computer, so they won't let me get to the article, so I'll just show this. And post it in the Facebook page for you guys. Link it over to you guys to see. But uh, someone from Wichita Falls made LSD in the shape of the Autobot and Decepticon emblems. Oh. <laughs> it is highly toxic. It is going to kill you if you try it. But damn it, ain't this a hoot? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just waiting I... for someone to make uh, rock lords out of crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> Holson, it's time to cook. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I found this. I'm going to go with uh, violence. Sex, drugs, and violence. Uh, I found uh, on Reddit this old G1 storybook that has uh, Blitzwing in it. And I have never seen a more fucking terrifying depiction of Blitzwing ever in my life. Oh, man, he's all red, and he has no eyes. I see what you mean. 
That is. Sick. I was thinking more along the lines of up above, man. What above? Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess that works too. That is. That's so a weird. terrifying fucking blitzwing. <laughs> this is like shed.mov blitzwing. This is like he's gonna rise out of there as a skeleton. It looks like he's dry humping that gasoline truck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is Octane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are these the Ladybird books? Looks like I don't know. I don't know. I think that might be the uh, the podcast cover. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's better than the other thing I found. I was thinking about making this the podcast cover, but I decided against it. I was going to try to work HR Giger into it, into the discussion, but I never got around to it. I found this great photo of Mickey Mouse uh, as done by HR Giger. <laughs> And it was just, it was fantastic. Uh, behold, HR Giger, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yes. Well. Mm -hmm. Disney owns the but, Alien franchise now ever since the Fox buyout. Yep. Where yep. does he begin and end? I dare you to tell he doesn't. me. He's a fucking, he's a fucking Arabarus. <laughs> Walter, buddy, do you have a look at what I found? I've got about six weeks worth. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Everybody sit back. It's going to be a long show. Walter's been <laughs> stalking people. That's why he hasn't been on the show. I've, I've been out in the wilderness collecting information. Uh, let's see here. First, we got us a piece of artwork from the Transformers vs. Terminator crossover book that came out right before Diamond Distribution shut down. And it looks like uh, Starscream and the Seekers as Skynet Hunter Killer drones. I saw this. I want those toys. Yes. And you have glorious Alex Milne artwork. Who uh, owns the Terminator franchise now? Uh, Disney. Like toy rights, toy rights wise. Toy rights wise? Uh, I know Nika makes them, but I think uh, since Nika is marketed as adult collectibles, they operate in a different wheelhouse mm. but as far as someone making like actual like on the shelf at walmart toy license i don't know if anyone actually does right now yeah i think it's possibly just too hot of a property like not expensive wise but just like yeah mess wise it's way has anybody messy. has anybody seen the new alien toys at walmart yeah the the ones by like aldi or langdon or something or... yeah they're not bad Aren't they based on the AVP game? The old yeah. arcade cabinet? Yeah, it's, they are not fucking bad. No, and they're actually they're, quite nice. And they're pretty well-priced, too. Yeah. That fucking queen, that queen's like a foot tall and is only nineteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. And comes with a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Oh, I like this. And what do we have here? Chaos uh, Raven. This is the Iron Factory version of The Fallen. Oh, he's going to be three inches tall, though. Yeah. And it looks like it's a, it looks like it's a heavy retooling of the Megatron they did. Like that but, image on Cape. Yeah, but it's based off of the old War Within design, and that's my favorite look for the Fallen. Like, like H.R. Giger Pharaoh Fallen from the movies is kind of neat. The newer one with its weird Pope hats kind of eh. I I like the giant walking furnace. I oh. know that as I get more famous, people are more prone to accept me, but they still shake their heads. Walter, do you have the old Galoob version of the Fallen that had its own flame backdrop made out of his tank treads? Uh, I had that one for a while. I sold it after I picked up the uh, the Make Toys Chaos Paladin. Oh, I still man. have mine. I still have mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was it? Fans Hobby who made the the Thunder Clash? They're going to be doing a Machine Wars Optimus repaint. Hell okay. yeah! Still way too expensive. So to the super, uh, yeah, it's like two hundred bucks for it, but it's a Machine Wars Optimus. I know, and I Botcon like never made one. Fucking look at that! You you showing off his walking tank tread battle. Position mode? Come on, that's too yeah. cool. Uh, I might have found I found the original versions of these a while back, but 
the uh, the resolution on the ones I found previously were garbage. Finally, Hayato Sakamoto posted better versions of his old artwork. This was uh, some concept art that he cranked out. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be BotCon or eHobby, though. Uh, but let's see if I if I can read this correctly. It says Pat Toon. So yeah. he's calling it Toon version. But yeah, it's like you know G1 decos on some pretty interesting movie toys, like making Soundwave out of Stratosphere. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, shit, I can't tell what that Wheeljack's made out of. It looks like a Cybertron uh, downshift. Downshift, yeah, Cybertron downshift. Uh, uh, looks like Shockwave is made out of Tailwind. Yeah, out of Tailwind, Overcast. Fear swoop. Uh, yeah. That look that hot rod looks like it might be made out of armor hide from Cybertron. Yeah, I'm seeing that too. And it looks like uh, Starscream is made out of that Autobot jet. What the fuck was his name from the movie? Breakaway. Oh, yeah. Breakaway. Yeah. Uh what let's the fuck see. Is Bumblebee? Bumblebee is uh Bumblebee's uh Revenge of the uh, Fallen Dead End. That's right. The, that's the little right. scout one, the little gremlin car. Uh, let's see. Optimus looks like he's made out of that Scout class delivery truck. Yeah, the armor one, right, with the claw in the chest. Sands. The no, 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 no. The Scout the class, one. the good one, the, the delivery van, not the the armor truck. Rollout, uh, I believe. Roll is the name yeah, rollout. I always call him a roller. Yeah, and, and Megatron. Movie. And Megatron looks like he's made from wreckage slash bludgeon. That, that's pretty accurate because that's what he was supposed to be originally wasn't he yeah yeah and, which looking at that figure yeah that would work as a megatron yeah, absolutely. absolutely and i love the fact he's got the belly button gun we're getting yeah. ready for a real naval battle <laughs> ah! <laughs> no piercings on that oh my God. <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a rare day that I get Holson. I feel good. Mark it down the calendar, boys. Holson, now it now it's your responsibility to tell Scott he's fired. <laughs> uh, let's see another another piece of artwork we got here from Sakamoto is Shattered Glass TFP. What's so we got your your op, your Optimus with his purple deco RC based on Air Acted. Bumblebee with Soundwave's paint job. Ratchet with knockouts. Megatron in prime colors. A yellow Soundwave. <laughs> the fuck is Megatron a patriot? I don't know. America! Fuck hey, yeah. That, 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 would be a, that would be a question for Sakamoto. Oh, and look down there. God Little arms bless. microns. Fucking hell, man. That is the biggest crime in Transformers in a long time. The fact that we didn't get the Microns or those neat Target Masters here in the States. Yeah. yeah. And another piece of Sakamoto art, again, using a random assortment of 2010-era movie molds as what looks like to be fairly original characters. Mm. Like, like Breacher as this little like red, brave-looking dude. That's yeah. almost looking Rodimus. Yeah. yeah. God, I would love another Breacher repaint. Yeah. Swindle looks very Bumblebee. Yeah. Uh, the motorcycle one. Uh, Wipeout? Was that his name? Wipeout, Knockout, uh -huh. Reverb. There was yeah. a few repaints yeah. of that he motorbike. That's very RC. Yeah, a big uh, blue and white sea spray. Yeah, that, I mean, that's obviously supposed to be Springer. The, out yeah. of the, the Tomahawk. Not Tomahawk. Yeah. Uh, Skyhammer. Uh, Skyhammer. 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 And then, yeah, like using the mind wipe mold as like a big fiery red villain type. I, I approve. Transmetal Megatron? Maybe? Like, and then of course you got Highbrow, Terror Dive, what looks to be mind like wipe. a War or a Shockwave made out of Tomahawk. And then uh, Hailstorm and uh, Skystalker here. Try curse you. Try curse you. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out who the fuck Sea Spray would be. Yeah. See, I think he's just like Sea Spray gets to be Sea Spray. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. He can't be. Uh, he can't be Ultra Magnus. 
Yeah. Not going weird. Water right? Ultra Magnus. Nice. Yeah. Ultra Magnus. You mean Ultra Magnus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. This is that the Grimlock Seeker mold from that, IDW? That, wow. From Dreamwave. Dreamwave, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Because there was a storyline where apparently Grimlock was supposed to possess a Seeker body after mm -hmm. having his original melted down, and then just over time he mutated it to look more and more greebly in Dino Body. That's well, brutal. looks oh. like this Tyrannosaurus chicken raptor learned to finally fly. Yeah. That that looks like someone who could go toe to toe with uh, Super Megatron. Yeah. God. Well, in the Dreamwave comics, that's exactly what what Grimlock was. He was the only one who could go toe to toe with Megatron. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that was also in the the original G one cartoon. They finally had a showdown one time between Grimlock and Megatron, out in the streets of yeah. Washington. This was like ah, robot fight. Ah, robot fight. And then I found some more BotCon concepts. Uh, we got here a tailgate and a shattered glass wind charger that would have been made out of a reveal the shield wind charger. Hmm. Neat. So I, I suspect this would have been like a custom class figure where they gave you your choice of head and stickers yeah. since they both seem to be wearing mostly the same deco. Oh, I'm, I would go totally for tailgate. I cannot stand shattered glass. Mm. I don't think I own one shattered glass figure. Yeah. We got Machine Wars Prowl, who we sadly didn't get out of the 2013 set. Machine Wars Prowl is looking very Minimus Ambus. A little bit. And then the the reason, apparently the reason uh, why we didn't get the Prowl is they wanted to do a new head for him to make him look more like the Machine Wars toy. And then they would have also been able to double purpose that head for skids. Ooh. Mm -mm. Oh, not Salt Man Z? Nah. But yeah, I, I, I'm kind of mad that skids never got to happen. That is a really nice skids. That yes. is. That is. And they're also going to make an X Brawn. Oh. Hey. Out of Revenge of the Fallen Brawn. But not, no, not enough kibble. Not enough asymmetrical kibble. How Good news, you? everybody. I've got hands. <laughs> This is the one that had the flip out pistolas, right? Yes. Yep. Oh, love that. I, I I liked the pistol gimmick storage thing. I didn't like how much car panel hung off of his arms and legs and back. Well, I guess that's why he, he made a good choice for the next run. Yeah. yeah, I I agree one hundred percent. A lot of crap. <laughs> yeah. It it and was. Then, it was movie aesthetic, Olson. It wasn't. It wasn't <laughs> kibble. It was aesthetic. Yeah. Oh, and then we got we got some Turbo Masters made out of Prime molds. Ooh. Oh my God, Thunder Clash Turbo. Yes. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, that looks pretty damn good. Olson yeah. just saw God. Oh. <laughs> yes, please. Oh my God. Thunder Clash and his giant violet <laughs> hammer. Damn. Yeah. I, I, I call it the violet violence. <laughs> Slicer. Purple pain. <laughs> <laughs> Purple people beater. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> the flying purple people beater. <laughs> but yeah, we got Boss, Hurricane, Flash, and Scorch here. And I like that they're using the arms microns, all of them that have like the big barrel cannon modes, mm -hmm. to homage the cannons that the Turbo Masters came with. Really nice. Someone knows their shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. A canceled concept for a uh, Cybertron... No, Armada Ratchet. Okay. Yeah, Arma yeah, Red Armada... Alert. Yeah, Red Alert, sorry. That's okay, uh, buddy. Yeah, made out of the... What, Made out of the same tooling that gave us Cannonball. The The reason why they didn't make this one was because of all the assembly errors that Cannonball get, had. Yeah. And they didn't, and that, Fun Pub didn't want to go through all that bullshit again. You know what? Fun Pub was really a fucking nightmare. Mm. 
Like they had, they, they had some good ideas here and there, but yeah, a lot of oh, the no. hoops they may just jump through. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The people that Fun Pub were kind of like they kind of worked for them. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people that worked for Fun Pub were great oh people God. who had amazing ideas, but the leadership suffered incredibly. Yep. And that leadership currently being vol involved with the new bot con that the Hartmans are going to be putting on is the exact reason why I don't want anything to do with them. Mm. Look at the tiny head. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, we got us another mock-up here of the animated, deanimated Retgar. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Made out of breakdown. I'm all for deanimation. Yeah. An ironworks that they were going to make out of the uh, Prime Deluxe Optimus. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. That's actually yeah. really cool. Yeah. And apparently they were going to make headmasters for uh, for ma for a Master Force theme for fucking uh, huh. Ghost Shooter and Cab. Oh, we could have had that. Yeah. But the new heads, but the new head tooling would have been way too many extra parts. Fucking your problem, Fun Pub. Give us the shit. Yeah, but yeah, like they were gonna do one head that blended features from Cab and Go Shooter, that could then be you know compatible between the two of them with you know paint certain details on one, certain details on the other to tell them apart better. They were gonna use uh, Transformers Prime smoke screen for Go Shooter and Transformers Prime Ratchet. For for cab, I'm going with their Japanese names because I can't remember their American ones. Uh, Ozhead and Siren. Ozhead and Siren. Thank you. You're welcome. And this okay. What's that mystery bulkhead that I see there? This here is some more like concept art, color edits coming straight from uh, Derek J. Wyatt himself. Okay. So some of these are BotCon concepts. Some of these are background characters from Transformers Prime. They're all recolors of existing characters. And here's Bulkhead done up as, I think he's supposed to be the Mighty Orbots character that inspired Bulkhead in the first place. Right on. I, I do not know enough about Mighty Orbots to say one way or the other. So I didn't even know Bulkhead was inspired by the Orbots. I thought he was just like kitschy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wyatt took a lot of his inspiration from Orbots. Uh, we got Grimlock as Goryu. <laughs> okay. He looks good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not bad at all. Uh, we got uh, Prowl as Beast Machine's Thrust. Nice. That's good. That's good. He's got the general grievous head. Yeah. I like how they just left his legs half transformed to give him his wheel feet. <laughs> <laughs> crafty son of a bitch using what's given to you yeah uh we got a venom and a bugly made out of blackout oh my god venom and bugly in that size on black yeah yeah. Oh. yeah i like that venom that's a great idea i have that blackout toy too and yeah. oh dude he's so good uh let's that see here only in japan right that's correct yeah yeah, we got uh, G we got G two breakdown and Motormaster. That's animated. <laughs> yeah, Motormaster using the Wing Blade Prime breakdown. I really wanted that cutthroat to happen out of the freaking scoop mold. My God, this is like five layers down into the ten layer bean dip when you're going. Not yeah. only is this animated, but this is shattered glass G two animated color. Yeah. Yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Optimus as a hot spot and Bumblebee as a first aid. Oh no, this is too good. This is too good. Uh, I can't. I can't remember who most of these are. I know this is like a. Well, that's a black arachnia head and a star scream body, oh, and I think shattered? that's dread. I think that's dreadwind colors. Would this be like some sort of version of shatter? No, because this predates Shatter by a long Ooh, ass time. You know what this is? Hmm. Darkwind, Dreadwing, or Darkwing, Dreadwind, and BB. Uh, Maybe I... Uh, so instead of a uh, stealth bomber, you're getting him as a uh, 
as yeah. a helicopter. A, sorry, yeah. a chopper. Chopper. Yeah. Sorry. C H O P P A. Now you know what? In the in the army, they're called Hueys. Yeah. In the in the navy, they're called choppers. In the air force, they're called helicopters. Yeah. And in the Marines, they're called, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah. We, uh, we got, we got some other ones right? here, but I'm having a hard time remembering who they are. I you can think, just make stuff from us. Yeah, I think you this... Can just I think stuff up. We, we won't be knowing. If you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Scott's right, and it was BB, wouldn't this be another version of that same mold, like Gigant Bomb, BB, and who mm. else? Like I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Beast Box and Squawk Talk. Okay, I see that. And going from the colors, I want to say this is sort of a Flywheels because he's got the maroon on one side and the tannish brown on the other. Okay. Did, uh, is that arm and the leg aren't colored though? Is that? Yeah. What's up with the? I don't know. But yeah, so I. I I found a whole bunch of stuff while I was gone. Hey, while we got your screen up there, buddy, did you get any reinforcements this week? Uh, I've actually gotten quite a bit because I've been gone for a few weeks. Everybody stand back. It's the Walter Show. Uh, <laughs> good morning, Walter. Uh, most of them I've gotten put away on the shelves already, so I don't have them to show handy, but... I got uh, from Earthrise, I got Sound Barrier, I got Wheeljack, Ironworks, Starscream, Grapple, Leader Class Optimus. I got Studio Series, uh, Jet Shatter, Bumble Jeep, and Roadbuster. I got the, uh, the Cyberverse, Rack and Ruin. And, oh, and the Warrior Class Hammerbite, the dude with the little shark gimmick head. He's not bad. <laughs> He's pretty good for a warrior class toy. Yeah, he's not bad. Hey, Holson, how about you? Any reinforcements this week? Oh, oh, oh I, I have a few more things. Oh, I'm sorry. Never okay. mind. Yeah, Holson, and I'm never get to talk. Sorry, Holson. Holson, uh, Holson, shut the fuck up. Walter's talking. <laughs> uh, I also have it, for the last couple of weeks. I've been having a hard time finding anything new at retail, so I've been you know hitting the buy sell trade boards and filling in some older holes in my collection. So I managed to finally pick up the Takar the Transformers Adventure version of Dogfight and Run Amuck. <laughs> uh, the the Blackjack and Powerglide repaints from P Combiner Wars. Nice. The Transformers Go X Prime, the the Bullet Train Shitty Dragon Triple Changer Optimus. Mm. That shitty walk. Yeah. A Beast Wars Transmetal Two Black Arachnia. Okay. Uh. And this one I actually do have handy because I really wanted to brag about this one. So I'm going to stop screen sharing here in three, two, one. My wiener. Beast Ooh. Wars Metals X9 Jaguar. My wiener. <laughs> oh. Hello there. Yes. Wow. Well, that's I've hilarious. been I've been hunting this white whale for 21 years now, and I finally got to fucking harpoon it. God damn you, Ahab! You glorious son of a bitch. Him and Cat Scan are some of the bot configures I've been hunting for a while. Mm. Mm. Oh wait, oh that that that's actually in another room. I was about to say this cat scan, but he's in the bedroom. <laughs> Did you see on BBTS they finally <laughs> dropped the Japanese bot conversions of Grizzly One and Sandstorm? I saw that. Oh, he's got the dual pistols. That's fucking great. That's fucking great. Hold somebody. Any reinforcements this week? No, I didn't get anything. Aw. How about you, Xavier? Uh, I found Hammerbite as well. Nice. Yeah, I really uh, like Hammerbite. I I did something I don't normally do. I, I got one of these for for Mikey, um, our Australian friend. I I found the uh, Soundwave. Thirteen dollars. So I found like the Encore Soundwave at Walmart, and this is gonna stay in the box. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't normally leave things in box. So I was really, really cool with that. I, I love that sound wave. Um, I completed my McDonald's collection. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not to interrupt you one more time, but I really got to skedaddle. I'm late as fuck for work. No uh, problem, oh, buddy. Have shit. a good one, man. Have a good essential day at work. Yeah. Oh, my God. And there he what? is. Transformed. So there's under three. Really happy with that. I got done printing the Ratchet trailer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's Ratchet's nice. trailer. So this transforms like this. You have like the little computer screen and you have like a little, uh, little mechanical arm right there. that kind of pegs in. There we go. Nice. So that's one section of it. The middle section is just a... Uh, and I'm going to reprint these doors. I'm not happy with the way the doors came out. But you've got like the little thing to keep medical devices in. And... But listen to that click when you put them together. Ooh, that's oh, good. It? Nice. You've got the front part. There's the trailer hitch that becomes the a medical examination light on here. There we go. Some medical exam light. No LCDs, sorry. No. And then, of course, the gurney. Nice. And then, like, I, I went over to Shapeways, and I found that Trent Troop, there from the Transformers card game, he made Private Turbo Board, which is Jazz's Turbo Board with the alt mode of the Anomalocaris, the prehistoric trilobite thingy. And... I, I went to put both of them in my shopping cart. Everything together came to about $45, $50, somewhere in that range. And I went, uh, and I thought, I've got a 3D printer. So I messaged Trent, and I, I left like a little thing on his, uh, on his uh, TFW 2005 thread saying, man, I, I'd really like to buy these. Have you ever thought about putting them up on Cults? Uh, Cults 3D, it's a, it's a site where you can buy designs off people. He goes, I really don't put stuff up there because it's not designed for home printers. But if you want to give it a shot, I'll sell the uh, I'll sell the files. Uh, we'll do ten dollars a file or twenty five for three files. So I said, here's twenty bucks. I'll take I'll take your two private turbo board files, and they came out fucking great. No, Holson, you're not imagining things. That is not a trilobite. I mean that that, awesome. that is 3D printed. That is home 3D printed. And there's this that, like gun mode. Yeah. And it does work. Let me see if I can find it. I did have them here. Oh, here we go. Yes, it does work with like the power of the primes. <laughs> things like that. Great for but, picking your teeth, skewing right. salad. Turbo board didn't have a gun mode, so this is also private turbo board with you flip them over and there's the turbo board mode. Nice. And I'll tell you what, these printed great. Normally, whenever you 3D print, you're going to have one side, whatever side touches the build plate is really, really rough. So what I did, you can't really see it on this one, but I did it with both. Instead of printing like this or like this or angled like this, I printed it straight up and down but I cut the model in half. Like this one I cut in half here. So I printed this half this way and then this half this way and then glued them together. So the oh. rough side is on the inside. And I did the same thing with, with this one right here. And you can't really tell from this side, but on this side, you can kind of see like right underneath the Autobot logo. You can see where it's glued together. Scott even made the oh. sticker. I didn't. That's from Toy Hacks, but <laughs> he made the sticker. Thanks for lying for me, I guess. <laughs> but I those are those are my Yeah, those are my reinforcements. Those are my reinforcements. I fucking fucking love 3D printing. I, I absolutely love 3D printing. And this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. I'm starting to get into design right now myself. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to approach what, what Trent is doing. But do me a favor, go over to Trent's, uh, Trent Troops. Uh, if you don't have a 3D printer, go over to Shapeways and get some stuff off of him because it's, it's a great addition to your collection. 
Uh, if you do have a 3D printer, yeah, message him. He was he's friendly as hell. We've had we've had Trent on the show. That's right. Um, yeah, we asked him the the serious question: What happens when you find people stealing your shit? On that episode, and he was yeah. just like, uh, "Hope it gets taken care of." Yeah, we're, we're taking care of that for you, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> by linking that podcast for you to listen to. <laughs> Once we get it back up, that is. Yeah, yeah, but. That's it. Guys, what do you have planned this week? Oh, pfft. bury myself in a hole. Yeah, that's probably the safest place. Yeah. I almost no. forgot uh, Pete says hi, so uh, hello, Pete. Pete, hey, Pete's, buddy. Pete Sinclair? Uh, Pete. No, the good Pete. Oh my God. Pete Sinclair is the okay, okay Pete. <laughs> Oh my God! I Pete forgot Flores Pete. Is the good I Pete. forgot Pete's last. I cook. Flores. Flores. Damn it! I'm sorry, Pete. <laughs> That's okay, Pete. dude. That's all right. It's all right. Pete doesn't listen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! And this has been a fun ass show. No t- two ways about it. Let me get my microphone back up to where it should be. Holy shit! It's Walter. No. Thomas? Wait, who's that? Is, is it that Walter? Hi. Is it Thomas? Hi. It's hey, Thomas. Thomas. Hi. Hey, buddy. Wow. You. We were just saying That's goodbye. Fine. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> it's worry about it. the greatest time to drop. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And Thomas. <laughs> yeah. I got up too late. Yeah. Oh, that's okay, buddy. I'm glad you made it. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's...